Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Alton. It's P517. So, this made me do a video just now. Um, I'm actually just browsing on eBay. It's, it's like 1 123 at night. Um, freaking passed out earlier. But, anyways, this made me a little bit upset, and I thought it would be good for you guys to know about it. Um, on the other hand, it's kind of a tip for how to buy on eBay. Uh, a few things to really watch out for, of course. The main thing is got to have good feedback, but more importantly on the feedback, you got to make sure it's a seller's feedback, not a buyer's feedback. They can buy a bunch of stuff and have good feedback, but if if you don't have some sort of a good feedback as a seller, that may be a red flag, but that's a red flag in my case. Um, detailed pictures, tag, dated, and um, detailed pictures. I mean, it's the 21st century, so you gotta have a good camera somewhere. So don't, don't, don't take the bad quality pictures and whatnot. If it is bad quality pictures, ask for them. I mean, there is still a slight amount of people out there that are not tech savvy and whatnot. So if you ask for them and if they're willing to do it, that's a good sign. If they're not willing to do it, something's fishy. Something, something can go bad with the listing. Um, some detailed. Uh, description is always nice rather than just one sentence, two sentences, and then you definitely always want to make sure it says 100% authentic. Um, but those are the couple main things: is high feedback, make sure it's positive, uh, good quality pictures with tag pictures, and uh, dated with the eBay name, handwritten, not Photoshop, none of that printed stuff because that stuff is is bad. It's a bad sign. Um, and you just got to really pay attention to the pictures. That's one thing that you're going to see in this video where if you don't pay attention, you're going to eat it at the end and then you're going to have to dispute it, either mail it back, waste some money to do that and, and hope for the best to get your money back and whatnot. Um, but that's pretty much it. So, other than that, ooh, I just ate, so excuse me on that. But I'm going to put this video together for you guys just so you know. <clears throat> what to watch out for on eBay. Um, I think I'm going to be doing more videos shoe related, but kind of topics and, and whatnot on hand as well on top of the shoe reviews. Um, there's a cool thing that JSTAR was mentioning about um, sneaker heads and rate prices. I'm definitely doing a shoe video reply to that because I could type, I could loop, I could go on forever, I think, on the whole page of, of, of material, but I can definitely put more emphasis in the video hear where I'm coming from and uh, definitely put my two cents into it but other than that this is the eBay video so keep an eye on it stay tuned always got kicks coming in um, I know I told you guys I backed off a little bit but things didn't go through I'm still cutting slim on, on a lot of stuff I'm not trying to get everything like I used to um, especially since my feet kinda just changed after I started working out so I don't know what to deal with that but maybe it's all that jumping from plot metrics so anyways any questions hit me up rate comment and subscribe here is the next part to the video peace out all right so here is the item that's for sale that I'm gonna kind of put it on blast um, IDs all right there Price, I can understand where they're asking the price, and then of course you can make your offer and whatnot, but here's where I'm a little bit of upset about. So, conditions new with box, right? And if you notice the detail right there, if you don't pay attention, you saw those sock pillings, that, that fuzzy stuff right there. That's worn. Same thing right there. So let me show you guys another picture. This is what you got to do when you got to watch out for buying shoes. I mean, <clears throat> you know, everything checks out. It looks good. Honestly, it looks good. And the shoe and everything. It's got a tag on there, eBay. I mean, it's got a good feedback. You definitely got to check feedback because you got to make sure the feedback is as a seller, not a buyer. But what, what, I, I'm... Like I said, I'm looking for a pair of uh, 11 Bread 11s because that's where my game started was a pair of OG Bread 11s. 
Um, the 2001s will work for me, but that right there, you definitely have to watch out. So, um, you know, that's a tip I'm buying on eBay, and definitely something to really keep in mind. I mean, if they have a good description, it's always a good thing, but you definitely have to pay attention. You know, handwritten tags is always preferred with the current date to show the current condition. Uh, feedback and everything so forth. Um, I'm watching this item but I'm not going to be buying it at this point or making any offers because that's just ridiculous. It's worn. So uh, I reported to eBay saying it's worn so you know something's got to be done but whoever's whoever is looking at this item watch out. Item there's the item number, so if you're checking out a pair of size 11, 2001 bread, or black and red, whatever you want to call it, watch out, because this listing is a little fishy, because they look like they've been worn. Last thing you want to do is pay for a price of a new pair for a worn pair. So, just thought I'd give you a tip on that, and um, and just kind of want to just give a public service announcement, a PSA about it. So, any questions, hit me up. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, peace out.